Nice launch trajectory and countdown net. Pad is clear. 10, 9, 8. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hi, everyone. My name is Ronnie Foreman, and I'm a commercial sales manager here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for tonight's Starlink mission, which marks SpaceX's 31st launch of the year and 230th overall mission to date. On your screen is a live view of our Falcon 9 rocket on Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Florida. At T minus four minutes and 40 seconds, the range is green and ready to support and weather is looking good. The teams are currently tracking no issues with either the vehicle or spacecraft. Strong back retract has started. We should see the strong back clamp arms opening up around the vehicle shortly. Then you'll see the clamp arms fully open around Falcon 9 before the strong back moves slightly away from the rocket in preparation for liftoff. There you can see those clamp arms moving away from Falcon 9 on your screen. The strong back, also referred to as the TE or transporter erector, is the large structure that you see next to Falcon 9. We use the TE both to move the rocket out to the launch pad ahead of liftoff and then to raise it into the vertical position. Coming up next at T minus three minutes, we should hear that stage one has completed liquid oxygen loading. As a reminder, Falcon 9 is a reusable two-stage rocket fueled by liquid oxygen and RP-1 on both the first and second stages. At T minus two minutes and 53 seconds, the Falcon 9 first stage is now fully loaded with RP-1 and liquid oxygen. And we are awaiting completion of LOX load on the second stage in just about 45 seconds. Those slight clouds that you see coming away from Falcon 9 are nothing to worry about. Those are just gases above the LOX tank venting out into the warm Florida air. Really gorgeous views of our rocket on the launch pad tonight. The booster, or the first stage of the rocket that you see on stage screen, two, lock, load, there's that call out that Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. As I was saying just a second ago, the booster tonight is flying for the 11th up. time today, having previously supported CRS 22 and 25, Cruise 3 and 4, Turksat 5B, Eutelsat Hotbird 13G, Empower A, and three previous Starlink missions. Just after liftoff and stage separation, this booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Falcon 9 is in startup. 
We just heard the call out that Falcon 9 is in startup mode, which means the flight computers have taken over the final launch countdown. SpaceX, go for launch. And as you just heard, the launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. Let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 56 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds to count. Plus 35 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 from Cape Canaveral, Florida at 1.03 a.m. Eastern Time. The next major milestone coming up is Max Power Q. Power and telemetry nominal. Which is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Vehicle supersonic. With that call out, we hear that Falcon 9 is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Q. There's that call out for Max Q, which again is the period where the rocket experiences the largest amount of external stresses. We're just about one minute away from a series of events that are going to happen back to back. Those are going to be main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start one, and then fairing separation. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage shut down. Those are what you can see glowing on your screen right now. Stage separation is when the first and second stages separate from each other. Second engine start one, or SES one, as you'll hear it called on the nets, is where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage for the first time. Fairing separation is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage on their way back to Earth. Let's keep an eye out for those events happening back to back in just about 10 seconds. Stage separation. Back in As you just saw and heard over the nets, we've had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and the ignition Fair of our MVAC engine on the second stage. We've also had fairing separation confirmed. Today, we'll be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Bob. Just like our first stage booster, both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven, one half having flown now for its seventh time and the other for its eighth. Right now, we've got great views of the second stage on your screen, while the first stage booster is headed back to Earth towards our drone ship, just read the instructions. 
The MVAC engine is attached to the second stage, which is continuing its burn, which we expect to last about another four and a half minutes. And in the bottom corner of your screen, you can see that stage two continues to pick up speed on its way to space. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Vehicles on nominal trajectory. With that call out, Acquisition we know of signal, Bermuda. the first and second stages are following nominal trajectories. As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 230th mission overall and the 31st mission this year. Coming up next in the mission is our entry burn on the first stage, which is the first of two burns it will go through in preparation for landing. You can't see the first stage on your screen right now, but when we've got good views to share, they'll come up. And again, in the bottom corner of your screen there, you can see both the stage one and stage two telemetry to give you a sense of what both stages are doing. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn startup. There's the call out for the stage one entry burn. Stage one, which we also call the booster, has now ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. This burn should last about 20 seconds. Stage two, FTS has saved. Stage one, entry burn shut down. Just heard the call out that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. Stage one transonic. There's that call out that the first stage is transonic, which means it's traveling near the speed of sound on its way back to Earth. Again, right now we have great views of our second stage, and we're preparing for the first stage landing burn. Start of thermal guidance. Stage one landing burn. There's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. This Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully Expected launched and landed for the 11th time. Now we're coming up on second engine cutoff.
nominal orbit insertion. There you heard the call out we were waiting for. Confirmation of good orbit and of course, confirmation of second engine cutoff one. Expected loss of signal Bermuda. Today's landing marks our 191st overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. With confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff, that wraps up our coverage for now. Be sure to check our social media channels for confirmation of Starlink deployment. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.